I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know, because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell Podcast. Hello and welcome to Conversations with Tony on Tony G. Campbell, the podcast. This is the show for my Gen X warriors where we talk about our challenges and victories in life. On this episode, we will discuss living an amazing life with Angel Morgan. Tell me, are you living your best life? If you're not, what's holding you back? On today's show, my co-host and I will dive deep into a great discussion about living an amazing life, and I pray that this show will inspire you to live your best life. Right after a word from our sponsors, I will be right back with my co-host for today, Angel Morgan, who is a mom, a business owner, an author, and an amazing lady. Stay tuned. One, two, one, two. And I say this is Ty Controller. And I'm here to talk about Dip Square. Dip Square is an online shop that specializes in unique graphic t shirts, hoodies, jackets, and other apparel. They also offer services like personalized mugs and shoes. Did I just say shoes? Yeah, you can get sneakers with your picture on them at Dip Square. They also have tote bags and other items. Right now, you can save on t-shirts every day by using the discount code I Love Tees. That's I Love T E E Z. You get 14% off because every day is Valentine's Day at Dip Square. So check them out online at dipsquare.com. Dipsquare.com. I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know. Because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell Podcast. Welcome back. Now, today we are talking about living an amazing life with my co-host for today, Angel Morgan, who is a mom, a business owner, an author, and an amazing lady. Hey, Angel. Hi, Tony. Thank you for having me today. All right. Okay, so we're going to talk now about living your best life. And so Angel and I know, we've known each other a long time, since high school, right? Junior high school. Did we go to junior, and see, okay, I I was thinking, I was like, did we go to junior high together? So, okay, you did go to Hamilton. All right, Mm -hmm. see? (laughs) We're dating ourselves, girl. We're dating ourselves, but it's all right. Those are for those lifelong friendships, you know? You gotta keep them, you gotta have them. They, you know, they're very valuable in life. Yes, they are. Now, so, I I look at a lot of people from our high school and things like that, and I'm like, if anybody I can just look out there and see, I see that you are living your best life right now, girl. Yes, I am. And um, living your best life for me is not, you know, being glamorous or having a lot of money, but just enjoying every day, whatever you can get out of any moment of the day, you know? So yes, I am. I am living my best life. And you wear so many hats currently in your life. (laughs) Because like I said, you are a mom, you are a business owner, you are an author, you travel like every other day. I promise (laughs) you, this girl is always on vacation which is amazing and i when i grow up i'm gonna be just like you (laughs) or or when my kids grow up because i that's they're the ones who keeping me from traveling this much girl and keeping me from traveling (laughs) and i mean we have to talk i can give you some tips on traveling with kids you can live your best life with your young children as well oh i gotta take them with me Okay. All right. I'll take them. I'll take them. <laughs> Jesus. Cause if I leave it up to them, we're going to Legoland and I don't want to necessarily go to Legoland. You know what I'm saying? I like the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. I'm just, you yes. know, we're going to have to negotiate that situation. Absolutely. We're <laughs> going to have a conversation on the side with that for that one. All right. <laughs> okay. So let's first talk about you being a business owner. Yes. Tell the people about your business, ma'am. Okay, so my business is a hair salon, Allure Hair Designs Incorporated. We, I've been in business for 21 years. I do have a business partner. 
Um, and it's a hair salon that is a very comfortable atmosphere. Um, we're very friendly, the stylists, and we offer all sorts of uh, styles for different kinds of hair, not just natural hair, but we do specialize in natural hair care, but we do coloring, weaves, cuts, and uh, we offer great conversation. It's a lot of good times in the salon. And you are located in Philadelphia. What part of Philadelphia? It's in the West Oak Lane section of Philadelphia. And uh, we've been at the one same location for 19 years. We had a, a, a location where we outgrew that location the first two years. So oh, girl, um, that is very, always a good very problem blessed to have. For that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> good problem to have. Absolutely. Yes. Now, that is awesome. And as, if y'all can't tell, we from Philly. I don't live there now. <laughs> I miss it so much. I need to get back there. I haven't, I have not been home in a while. So I need to come back because I need to do a food tour. If yes. anyone knows, every time I go back to Philly, there's certain places I have to hit in order. I've made 24 hour trips and I promise you I've hit each and every one of my food places. I might have not Tony, seen anybody, I, yes. but I've seen, I've seen my food. That's me. That's me. But if I could start another business, it would be to do a Philly hood food tour <laughs> because I know the good spots too. Yes. <laughs> oh, you might have to share some because I, you know, girl, the last time I went up there, everything has changed a lot. Like a lot has changed. Yes. I'm, I literally have to use ways in order to get around sometimes because I'm like, okay, these buildings weren't here before. So am I going the right way? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> I need Philly to go back to the way it was when I grew up there. I know it's not the same, but we still have great gems for people who are Philly natives who grew up in Philly. There are a lot of good food gems where you don't have to go into the city where you could just go from hood to hood and get great food. Yes. Yeah. And I always have to get my sausage off the street. I need my street yeah. germs. I do. You got to. You got to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. let's get back to you. Because, girl, I can talk about okay. food all day. I really can. <laughs> okay. All right. Now, we talked about your amazing hairstyling salon. You are mm -hmm. an author. You have a book of poetry. It's yes. called Amazed in Love. Tell us what was the inspiration for that? Oh, gosh. So keyword maze. Um, so it's about my journey through a maze in loving and learning to love myself and learning how to receive love and giving love, um, knowing the difference between passion and lust and love. And um, I just touch on that in different, you know, poems from motherly from, you know, me being a, a daughter, um, from being, you know, just a woman in my own passion and then getting into knowing and loving myself. And with these poems that I've written over a period of time, when I compiled them and made this book, because I am a hairstylist, I incorporated a conversation where... Um, I'm explaining and giving some insight on how how I came about writing this poem or where I grew, you know, how I grew from that poem and um, give my little tidbits of wisdom. And um, it's, it's, a, it's been a, a good hit with um, especially the women of the salon, but women of all walks of life um, and some men, you know, I've gotten good feedback, uh, you know, wanting to know my inspiration or who who got me that hot and heavy or who made <laughs> me so angry to write that certain poem and you know but um it's real life and and part of being a, a writer and even just being if you want that inner peace is transparency so oh. I'm very very transparent in my writing and in my life in general and that's how I'm able to keep my stress levels down and and just, you know, live a good, healthy, happy, amazing life. And I know that book will help a lot of women because that I think that's a that's women's 
not only flaw, but main flaw is that we forget our self-worth and we forget how to love ourselves. And because we're always, we're natural nurturers. We're always Mm -hmm. loving and taking care of everybody else. And we forget about self. And, you know, that's amazing. I know you have touched so many hearts and minds with this book and poetry i love poetry just because like you said it it's transparency it's it usually comes directly from the author's deep down soul heart hurt that you've gone through and things like that so if if you need a good new book go out and get a maze in love and that's m-a-z-e in love and I, I'm pretty sure we're going to give you Angel's website and where you can purchase the book because yes, it you is know. available directly through Amazon. Oh, so shucks. If you have time, you actually get free delivery. Oh, yes. girl, <laughs> Amazon knows this family very well. I promise you. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna have to get that book ordered uh, today. Mm-hmm. All right, let's Please talk go. about your third job or not job, your third life or season or portion of who you are. (laughs) Mom, you have two beautiful children and I love watching them grow up on Facebook. (laughs) I said, if (laughs) Facebook isn't good for anything, it's allowing you, it allows people to stay connected and, and be a part of someone's life without being there (laughs) and a part of your life. You know, love that. So yeah. let's talk about your babies who are not babies at all. <laughs> yes, they're not babies any longer. I have a um, 19-year-old daughter. She's in her third year at Morgan State University. Woo-hoo! And yes, HBCU all the way. And I have a 12-year-old son who wanted me to give him a shout out. So hey, Kalani, he's a seventh <laughs> grader and he just, He's an anime, I think he just told me, weeb, which means he really loves anime. Oh, okay, so, yeah. I was about to like, girl, what's that? I don't, I don't <laughs> Yeah, know. he just said that to me today, and I said, oh, what's that? He said, oh, it just means that I really love anime. Okay, great. Now, but, anime yes, is um, the, is that the Asian cartoon stuff? It is. Okay. Yeah. See, yes, I know I a little bit. Japanese. I know a little bit Japanese. Okay. I know yeah. a little bit because I've seen it, but child, my child is into, um, we do number blocks and we are into Mario. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> and Luigi. He's a Mario fan as well. He does oh. love Mario still. But Pokemon. Uh, all uh, of that. Yes. He I, loves all of that. Uh, the little thing that runs around, uh, Sonic. Yeah. But. He definitely loves his anime. Oh, uh, we might have kindred <laughs> kindred children. Our boys, mm-hmm. our boys may be identical. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly, so I might be calling you for some advice, but like, girl, he won't get off of this Mario. He literally goes to school and he be like, he'll do the Mario voice. He be like, "Hey, Luigi," and I'm like, I know his <laughs> teachers are like, we don't know who we're getting today. Like, they right. literally don't know what child they will get today. I need to find him a drama class or something. I'm going to do yes. it. I'm going to do yes, it. Yes, you should. You should. Yeah. All right. So um, you have a college child, a child in college. Yes. How is, is an, that, mama? She is an adult child. And I am all for not clipping wings. I want you to spread your wings. And it it was, you know, something that I've always did as a mother from birth. Like, um, I, you know, if you fall, I'll just say, get up, dust off. You okay. Keep it moving. And so now that she's in college, it's the same thing. She's finding her way and I'm allowing her. I don't want to be a helicopter mom where Mm. she won't learn her own life lessons. Learn them now, so that way you don't have to repeat them in your 20s and 30s and 40s. So she, you know, she'll ask me for some advice. I give some, whether she takes it or not, you know, it's up to her. But so far, you know, so good. She's still in school. And, um, you know, I just, you know, mother her from a, a distance and cheer her on. And, you know, as I said, you know, I'm just there for her. 
but I don't want to live her life for her and I don't want to dictate, you know, her life. So um, she appreciates that even the little bit of parenting that I do, she thinks is too much. But, you know, <laughs> we can't help ourselves. No, and, we can't. You know, she yeah, she's still about 100 miles away from me. Um, but I let her, you know, have her 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 distance and her space and, you know, go on into she'll have her own stories and, and life lessons and her own sources of wisdom that she'll gain through her, you know, gains and losses in life. So is she still wanting you to be mom right now or is she wanting you to be more of a friend? She definitely doesn't want me to be a friend, uh, but she doesn't want me to be a hovering mom. Uh, me being a friend would be too much in her business. <laughs> so that's why I say she doesn't want me to be her friend. But um, she she knows that I, I give her as much space that, that I can. And I think that she really is grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, so I just... She, I noticed that in her first two years, she called me more for advice on boys, on friendship, you know, on, you know, different scenarios that come, come up in the college life. You know, you're starting a whole new life away from home. Mm -hmm. And, um, now she's figuring it out on her, her own. And she doesn't, she don't really ask me for too much advice. Uh, so I just give her, you know, just words of wisdom that I hope that, you know, will, help her out that she can apply in her own way to her own life. Oh, that is so awesome. Yeah. I am a firm believer that you have to raise your children as a, not well as adults, because, okay, you allow them to be children while they're young, but you have to remember that you're raising adults to be able to survive in society and, Absolutely. you know, I, I, it, it drives me nuts sometimes. It, it's like those mothers who want to keep their child a child forever. And then it's like when they get grown, then they can't live without them. And that's what they want. And it's like, no, your child needs to be able to survive if something ever happened right. to you, you know? That that's my whole thing. If something happened to me, mm -hmm. my children can take care of themselves. That's all I need to know. Absolutely, because you don't wake up at 18 and become an adult or 21 or 25. It's a process and you apply, you know, you teach your children those skills that they can apply throughout different stages of their lives. You give them a adult, you know, outlook or, or maturity or responsible version for for um, toddler for school age, for adolescence, and then young adult, you know? Yes. And uh, you do that. And, you know, so I just, I know that she watches me and she knows that, you know, I I try to keep a great, you know, life free of drama. Um, I'm into meditation and prayer and all of that. And she picks up and she'll ask me questions about that. And, um, you know, I'm happy to help her, you know, find her own peace you know, so she could find it in the midst of the insanity of school. And that is what is awesome. Keeping the baby centered, even when they're away from home. Yes. <laughs> okay, we are going to take a quick break. And when we come back, we will be talking about more about living your best life. One, two, one, two. And I say this is Ty Controller. And I'm here to talk about Dip Square. Dip Square is an online shop that specializes in unique graphic t shirts, hoodies, jackets, and other apparel. They also offer services like personalized mugs and shoes. Did I just say shoes? Yeah, you can get sneakers with your picture on them at Dip Square. They also have tote bags and other items. Right now, you can save on t-shirts every day by using the discount code I Love Tees. That's I Love T E E Z. You get 14% off because every day is Valentine's Day at Dip Square. So check them out online at dipsquare.com. Dipsquare.com. 
I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know, because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell podcast. Thank you for tuning in. Now, today we are talking about living an amazing life with my co-host for today, Angel Morgan, who is a mom, a business owner, an author, and an amazing lady. Now, before the break, we were discussing the babies. Now, we are going to talk about traveling because I promise you, Angel is on vacation every other Saturday. That is my favorite pastime. It's not quite that often, though I <laughs> wish it could be. But yeah, I love to travel. I love to see different pa- places. And like you said, I'm a foodie too. So I love to submerge myself into the culture of where I travel with their food and, you know, their their environment, which is usually a nice beach somewhere. But yes, I love travel. Now, what what are some of your where are some of your favorite places that you like to go? Do you frequent the same places all the time or do you make sure you go somewhere different every time you go? Well, um, because you did say I am frequent. So um, I travel frequently. Um, There's one place that I just one of my most favorite places on Earth. That is my heaven on Earth. And that is Barbados. I love Barbados. Um, Barbados. That's one place I have not been yet. Oh, it's so beautiful. It's so friendly. And I came to fall in love with that island for two reasons. One, following my my roots that my great grandfather is from Barbados. Um, and two, when I went there with a group of women about 10 years ago, uh, as I was perusing around, I noticed that um, it was a very laid back island. And um, I knew that that was a place that would also be a great place for me to do solo travel. And oh. um, I always, yes. So I made that note. And then a couple of years later, when I uh, got back into traveling solo, because I do my own solo trips, because we don't, we don't let people hold us back. So if Girl, I'm ready to go, I know how go, that is. Yes. <laughs> if I'm ready to go and my, one of my girls aren't, or me being single, I'm not going to say that I'm, I won't travel because I don't have a significant other to see the world or my favorite places with. I still want to experience life and enjoy life in the meantime. So um, Barbados is great for a girl's trip is great for a solo trip. And uh, this summer I recently went and took my son and he absolutely fell in love with the island as well. Um, Oh, so if you ever retire, is that where you're going to retire? Barbados. Absolutely. My goal is to, to get a, a, a a small place to, uh, to live there. And if I can use it as an income property until it's time to retire, um, that's what I would do. Yeah, even if I'm living half the time there, but I definitely love that island. See, plans <laughs> for the future. Love it, Absolutely. love it. Absolutely, and put I'm it gonna out have there. to get there to Barbados. Okay, when I go, because I'm going to go, I, I got to mm-hmm. make it there. Where am I going to eat at? Where I need to go? You have so you have to go to Oysters. Oysters on a Friday night. It's, it's a fish fry. It's a fresh fish market. You, and during the day, you can go there and buy your fresh seafood. And at night, there are so many different, at least 30, if not more, uh, shops that will barbecue and grill that seafood, fry it up, have your side dishes. They have macaroni pie, which is like a ver- their version of macaroni and cheese. Ooh. And then um, the salads. And then you have your, your rum punch that there's is uh that from Barbados is different from what you would get in Jamaica um it's what different from what you would have in Bahamas and uh it's very good so you definitely would visit Oysters Oysters okay I wrote that down because yeah. I'm going to get to Barbados I keep saying I'm going to Barbados and I'm going to Bermuda those are two places I have not been yet I've been all Absolutely. on all the islands but not those two and I'm going to get there Right. When you go to Barbados, that'll be when I visit Bermuda because I I just added Bermuda to my list and I have not been. So 
we'll See, have to swap out. Like minds, girl, <laughs> like minds. We're gonna we're gonna Absolutely. get our travel on. Cause yeah, and like it's, I told you, so I gotta take easy. the babies. Yeah, and um some I noticed that and this is a part of living your an amazing life that um you can be broke and travel. It's about budgeting. And um I've found great places to stay, Airbnbs, little inns, um, and not just hotel living because, like I said, I like to be part of the culture. I want to be able to walk around, you know, different places. So um, it's very affordable uh, when you can set and plan a budget. And uh, actually on my blog, I I even write about some tips on, you know, making it even more affordable. But with all of these travel sites and places where you can actually get a a check, a rebate check for booking your travel through, um, it makes it all more, all the more uh, affordable. Yes. Oh, and I like rebate checks. I love those. Yes. Girl. Have you done Rakuten or it used to be called Ebates. It's Rakuten now. No. I know nothing oh, of yeah. this. Tony, I will send you my my code. Um, yes. Three months after you book a travel through them and you can shop anything through them. So listeners, this is all part of amazing life. Not spending a lot of money, but getting some money back. You can shop eBay, Macy's, Walmart, Hotels.com, Travelocity, so much more that it's so many more uh but if you download that app and then shop through them you get anywhere from three to ten percent rebate and when you're booking a trip that's a nice little you know that's dinner that you'll get back yes that's a you know a date night that you 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 can get back so um that that's one of the uh the tips or, or you know one of my travel secrets, that's not too much of a secret that I do. Um, and I get that. You get the the rebate three months after you booked, after you af- actually traveled. But that will be something that I know. It's something that I look forward to that I'll have. Oh, so. okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that because I'm all about getting money back or getting gift cards that I stack up. And a girl, oh, yes. I promise you, I've been stacking up Amazon gift cards for the longest. Cause we shop on there like every day, every, yeah. every day. <laughs> so I just got, I'm, I'm waiting for literally $45 in Amazon gift cards to come to my house so soon. So, cause I, I already got them spent, but I'm waiting for them to get here. So I can buy some. <laughs> I love Amazon. I, I love it. That's why it's when I self-published my book, I made sure that it that I could have it available through Amazon because why not? I know a lot of people shop there. I shop there. And so my books are available through Amazon for that reason. Okay. So you brought up your your website, amazinglady.org. Mm-hmm. And you talk about you give travel tips and things like that. Now, okay. I saw on your website, the disposable urinal. Girl, where did you find that? Bed, Bath & Beyond. Really? Yes. And it is a life saver. It, I mean, it's so easy to use. The way it's made, it's uh, even for females, no mess. And um, that's the uh, blog. I think it's called Johnny on the Spot. I think I probably uh, titled it, but um, that I would keep them in my car. Very, very handy because uh, road trips is something that I love to do as well, especially now that my daughter uh, is in school um, two or three states away from me. Um, But those little things, get in the back seat, do what you got to do. The liquid turns into like a gel, so it's no mess at all. And then next stop, you just drop it. Drop it in the trash can. And I'm going to get some of those because, okay, I've, since my children were starting, well, since my daughter, because my son, I was like, on road trips, he can go tinkle, spray the grass, have a good time. (laughs) But I was like, my daughter can't do that. So I had to figure out a way, especially with having two kids trying to stop 
get them both out the car, go into a place, get one on the on the potty during potty training time. I was like, no, I cannot yes. do that. That was driving me crazy. So I literally had a portable potty in my car at all times. And I would just mm-hmm. pull over, put the little bag on the potty and let her go. But now she's four and she looks like a six year old. And I'm like, the portable body is getting a little tiny. So I yeah. am going to get these things and keep them in my car. Because, I mean, now we, we can kind of stop and, you know, usher everybody in and, you know, no one's having accidents. But, Lord, Jesus, things like this, people don't understand. They are amazing things to have. Amazing. And not just for toddlers. Because at the time when I discovered them, my daughter was about, 13 or 14 and she definitely was making use of those um those johnny on the spots so um they they definitely are a lifesaver and then um even my grandmother i told her keep one in your purse you know she likes to do road trips i said just have that just that you know you don't have to hold your bladder you know yes because that's not healthy that's not healthy at all it is not, it's not healthy. Um, I actually have an article on that too, because as uh, women, we want to keep our pelvic floor strong. So uh, holding the bladder is one way to weaken it out. And we don't want that. We don't want that. Yeah. Cause those babies already tear us apart. So <laughs> we, don't, we don't need our, our tinkle doing the same thing, right? Oh yes. Those <laughs> are nothing but facts, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so everyone, you need to go to amazinglady.org. This is Angel's travel blog. It, it, it Well, it's more than just travel. It's motivation and inspiration. It's about, uh, it, has, it has her Amaze in Love book launch on there. And it just has a lot of great information. Um, and it even talks about her personal growth and all her trips and trip tidbits so make sure you visit her website so you can get some information and so you can travel because i promise you that self-care while you're there please be sure to sign up to get the um the newsletters just to join my uh newsletter email list so uh just everyone can stay on top of what I, what I'm doing, where I'm going, what I'm learning, what I'm offering, you know, in life. And you talk about what you're learning. Okay, you recently went back to school. I did. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this girl is, <laughs> you're amazing. I'm like, you're already a business owner. You're an author, you're a mom, you travel. What made you go back to school? There were a few different factors that convinced me to be one of those adult learners that I really took my took my hat off to because I knew that it wasn't going to be easy. One is that when you take classes of anything, it exercises your brain and fights again out against Alzheimer's. So that was one of the reasons that I went into doing it. I felt like I had a lot of free time at the time. And (laughs) so I was like, you know what, let's enroll in the class. And then um, I said, well, you know what, I've been in the hair business for over 20 years. How about I look and see what could be a good career choice for a second career? And um, upon research and knowing that I love people and I'm one of those nurturing, empathetic souls, I found that um, aside from nursing, radiography was a great choice for a second career. That's good for a first career as well. So um, I decided to enroll into the program. And this June, I completed the program. And I am now a registered radiologic technologist. And that is so amazing because... I know as a, a, a young 40 something, a lot of us are scared to start something new or even, you know, you might be in a career that you don't necessarily hate, but it's not your, your first passion or whatever. And mm-hmm. this 
is inspiring because it's like, yes, you can it not necessarily start over, but start anew. You can start yes. something new and add it, another chapter to your book. Exactly. That is so awesome. And I probably and, really needed that because, girl, I've gone through so many transitions from when I was in corporate America, when I left corporate America. Now I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. And I'm gravitating toward a lot of entrepreneurs just because I never wanted to be one. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I find myself as an entrepreneur. And, you know, I was like, okay, Lord, obviously this is where you want me. So, and, but it was a scary thing because I was always a, I considered myself a worker bee. I was in a, a senior accountant mm -hmm. at a fortune 500 company. I was like, that's my life. And when I walked away from that, I was like, what am I? I, I didn't know my identity because my identity was in that job. Right. And I was like, that was a hard, hard time for me. So, you know, when I see people like you doing things like starting a new, you know, having your business, having your family, you know, doing everything that your heart desires. It, it's comforting to me and it makes me feel like, okay, girl, you can do it. You can do so much more than what you yes. think you can do. We all can. And Tony, I have to tell you, I would be lying if I said that I wasn't afraid, um, that I wasn't nervous. Uh, you know, I even had some people who were friends of mine who were like, why would you do that? You're doing this, you know, you're fine with that. I'm, because this is what I want to do. I just, it, it doesn't hurt to try something new. I, I did it and um, I loved it. And it, I can compare stepping out, trying something different, whether it's starting a new career, uh, just doing, making, going on a, a trip by yourself, uh, deciding that you want to take a hold of your own health and wellness, like uh, a roller coaster. Mm. You do, you're on that incline and you, your adrenaline is rushing and you're nervous and you might even want to get off that darn ride, but you're strapped in and you're going to take that ride and you're going to feel some thrills and you're still going to have a little fear. Then you'll feel some more thrills. And then when like it's you're done, throw up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And you might, and you might even cry, but when you get off, you did it, you know, and it's a sense of accomplishment. And at least for me, I'm going to get back in line and I'm going to get on the ride again. So this time I can see if I'm going to react the same way on that ride. And that's pretty much my life is like those roller coaster rides. I love the thrill of it. And even right now that I'm at the threshold of actually working in this new career, I'm not allowing myself to talk myself out of it. Like, well, you already have a salon. You really don't have to do this job. You already got the, the certificate. You already got the degree. No, I'm going to work. I'm going to um, put myself forth and I'm not going to allow myself to talk myself out of something that can be great on the other side of this career. And that is so awesome. And I want to say I am proud of you. I am inspired by you. Thank you. That is just so awesome. So you go for a girl. All Thank right. Thank you. And I have to tell you, Tony, that I am very proud of you with this podcast. I was so surprised to see that you Aww. launched something. I was like, oh, Tony, this is great. And once I had a chance to listen to your, your episodes, I just was very inspired by you as well. So we all can inspire each other in little ways that we don't even know that we're doing. And you definitely inspired me with your podcast. Well, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Now, remember when I told you it was going to be over quick and we're going to have to wrap it we're gonna up. We're going to have to wrap it up. But before mm -hmm. we do, because we have a couple of more minutes, I want to talk about your amazing things jar. Now, yes. there's the, this quote you have on your website. It says, although every day may not be your most happiest, fulfilling, or amazing day, we have small, large, and in-between amazing milestones happen in our lives that deserves 
to not only be celebrated, but also deposited into an amazing things jar. Now tell everyone yeah. about this amazing things jar. Amazing things jar came about when I did my very first workshop um, teaching self care. And a lot of times we celebrate the good things and then try to smooth over or ignore the bad days. And I, I came about having this amazing things jar because it's like affirmations and love notes to yourself. When you are feeling good, write it down and put it in the jar. So on those days that you're not feeling as great, you can pull those things out and remind yourself that number one, you, you once had a happy, great, perfect day and you will have one again. And just to remind yourself that you love yourself and you can put notes on how great you are. Um, I love your smile. Uh, you're very kind and generous or your most favorite affirmations um, in that jar and deposit when you feel great and pull out when you don't feel as great. And it works for me. I even had uh, my son do his own, uh, you know, amazing things jar and uh, it has a little twist to it, but it works for him. And it's like a great incentive jar for him. So um, that is one thing that was very popular with the workshop. And so I decided to write about it, to share it with other women. And um, it's easy, just a mason jar and just cut up strips of index index cards and just right away drop them in there and i love that and i'm going i am going to start that for myself do you can i start it for some other people cuz i feel like some other yes. people might need a jar they make great gifts they yeah make great gifts like i because need you, you to can dig write into that what the best things that you either affirmations that you love or some love notes to your friends or loved ones of they may not know that you think that they are an amazing cook. They might, may not know that you think that they have such a great sense of fashion. They may not know that they give some of the best, warmest hugs. So if you put the, it, and they can pull out of there and then it'll inspire them to write their own love notes and maybe even start an amazing things jar for someone else. I mean, that's like paying it forward. So that's a great idea, Tony. I like that. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> All right, Angel, thank you so much for joining me today on my, what is this? Oh, pa podcast, girl. <laughs> Everyone I do, I forget some part of who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing on this podcast. That is what it is. <laughs> and I'm very, very grateful to be here to share my stories with you and your guests. And I'm sure I'll get you back on the co-host on another episode. Absolutely. We have so much more to talk about. Okay. And at this moment, I'm going to take my last commercial break and I will be right back. One, two, one, two. And I say this is Ty Controller. And I'm here to talk about Dip Square. Dip Square is an online shop that specializes in unique graphic t-shirts, hoodies, jackets and other apparel they also offer services like personalized mugs and shoes did i just say shoes yeah you can get sneakers with your picture on them at dip square they also have tote bags and other items right now you can save on t-shirts every day by using the discount code I love tees. That's I love T E E Z. You get 14% off because every day is Valentine's Day at Dip Square. So check them out online at dipsquare.com. Dipsquare.com. I guess you know what time it is. Yeah, I know. Because it's about that time for the Tony G. Campbell podcast. Hey, everybody. Well, it is time to wrap it up. I would like to say thank you so much to everyone for listening to Conversations with Tony on Tony G. Campbell, the podcast. Go to TonyGCampbell.com and check out our archive shows where you can see the show notes for this episode. 
follow and subscribe to Tony G. Campbell, the podcast on all of the social medias, Facebook, Instagram, and the Twitter. Share with your friends and let them know that they can listen to Tony G. Campbell, the podcast on YouTube, iTunes, Spotify, SoundCloud, and iHeartRadio. Make sure that you go to my website, TonyGCampbell.com, and become a Gen X warrior. You may be a co-host one day. Make sure you rate and review the podcast everywhere that you are listening. And remember to be kind, be useful, and be fearless. Go out there and have an amazing life.